Why do you need a probe port on your smoker? This gives you direct access to the cooking chamber for your probe cables. Running probe cables under the door is bad for the cable and it destroys the door gasket creating a smoke loss. A probe port is considered a best practice. I'm gonna be showing you how to get it done. I'm using a three quarter inch stainless steel cable gland. It's adjustable from 13 to 18 millimeters. Now three quarter may sound like it's pretty big, but the issue with a lot of probes, they're just designed with some very wide parts. So one end of the probe cable, it must pass through the probe port and therefore a small port just doesn't work for a lot of probe designs. So of course your mileage may vary. You're probably gonna need to buy a locking nut for the end of the cable gland because all of these don't come with the lock nut. A conduit lock nut does the job. As I previously mentioned, I use stainless steel. Plastic would probably not be a good choice because of the high temperatures. You can mount it wherever you like, but considering that the firebox end is so much hotter, I chose to put it on the stack end of my smoker. Now mark the spot with the center punch. I used a 25 millimeter hole drill bit, drilling through a quarter inch steel. Now the 25 millimeter hole was a little bit small, so I dressed it up with a step drill bit. In my case, it had such a snug fit that I could have got by without using that locking nut, but I decided I got it, so I'm gonna use it anyway. That's what it looks like. The cable glands that I bought from Amazon, they ship in a package of two. So I modified the existing probe port on my Yoder Wise 1500 by using one of these cable glands. I think it looks great. Stainless steel enhances almost any project. You're probably gonna need a small stopper or a piece of foil to seal up the port when not in use to prevent a little bit of smoke loss while you're barbecuing. A three quarter inch stainless steel probe port, that's a bomb proof project built to last. Let me know what you think. Hit me up in those comments, share your ideas on probe ports. Now all you gotta do is hit that like button on your way out, consider subscribing, and I hope to see you next time at Paw Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue.